Hey everybody, Mr. Math Blog here. This lesson is a fast one. It's called Decimal Division, and this is uh, Lesson 5.5 in our textbook. Here's our common core strand for our teachers, and our question is, how can we use a model to divide by a decimal? Okay, so we're going to use this model right here. This Remember from a prior lesson, this uh, represents hundreds right here. There's a hundred tiny squares in here, so if they're all filled up, it represents one. So this represents one hundredths uh, or hundredths right there. So when I fill up uh, six of these, there's going to be uh, it's either uh, sixty hundredths or six tenths because there's ten of these columns going across. There's four more going right here. Okay, and since six of them are filled up, it's six tenths, or you can count them as there's sixty little squares in there, sixty hundredths right there. Okay, something like that is uh, seventy five hundredths. Here's seven tenths right here, these tenths right here, and then here's five hundredths right here, so it's seventy-five hundredths right there. And again, if they're all filled up, then it's, uh, it's a hundred hundredths, or it's equal to one right there. Okay, let's do this problem here. So, uh, let's see, Marvin is making cloth headbands. He has 3.6 yards of fabric. He uses uh, 0.3 yards, which is three tenths right here. Okay, this is three tenths because it ends in the tenths position, and this is three and six tenths right here. But we can say 0.3, you guys. So he has 0.3. Um, he, uh, he uses 0.3 yards of cloth for each headband. So how many headbands can Marvin make from uh, the 3.6 yards of cloth? Okay, so we're going to take this number and divide it by this number right here. Okay, so let's um, uh, shade those decimal models to show 3.6. Okay, or three and six tenths. Okay, so we need uh, four hundredths uh, uh, flats here. So if we shade up three of those and six tenths of the other one right here, here is uh, three full ones shaded up and then six tenths of this one shaded right here. All right, so what we're going to do now is uh, cut apart the model to show the, the tenths. So we're going to slice them up like we did in another lesson. We're just going to slice it right down these guys right here and separate the tenths into as many groups of three tenths as we can. Okay, well, let's uh, rearrange them like that right there. And we'll cut these guys up, cut these guys up these guys up and finally these six down here and it'll look something like that all right and then we're going to separate the tenths um, into as many groups of three tenths as we can okay so here's a bunch of tenths right here there's 36 of them 36 tenths right there okay so look here's 10 20 30 plus 6 right there okay so what we're going to do is just grab three at a time so let me just grab three right here Okay, and then it just says separate them up into as many groups of three tenths as possible. So there's one group right there, and then let's get another three tenths right there. We're separating them up into three tenths, and so on and so on. I've already done that on this slide right here. So there they are, separated up into three tenths right there. So there are how many groups of three tenths? Well, there's one, two, three, four, five, six, and then six more is going to give us. Uh, 12 groups of these three tenths right there okay so um, we use the model to complete the sentence 3.6 divided by 0.3 is going to equal this 12 right here okay so it equals 12 so Marvin can make 12 headbands out of that all right easy enough you guys okay we're going to do the same thing here Patty has a dollar 75 and this represents 1 and 75 hundredths because this 5 ends in the hundredths spot so she has a dollar 75 in nickels all nickels how many stacks of 25 cents or 25 hundredths can she make from a dollar 75 okay so what we're going to do is shade uh, decimal models to show a uh, dollar 75 so we'll shade this whole guy right here That'll get us this one right here, and then we'll shade 75 of these. So we'll shade seven columns, and then on the eighth one, we'll shade uh, five of just the squares right there. So, so there's a one and 75 hundredths right there. Okay, now what we're going to do is cut apart the model to show groups of 25. Okay, I'm just going to do it with red lines right here. So there's one group of 25, 10, 20, plus this five right there. Okay. Well, here's five right here, so if we add 20 more right there, that'd give us another one right there. Okay, there's another one, there's another one, there's another one, and finally we have two more right there. So, uh, there are how many groups of 2,500? So, these are 2,500, so one, two, three, four, 
five, six, seven. So there's seven groups of 25 hundredths right there. All right, so use the model to complete the sentence. Uh, 1.75 divided by 0.25 is seven right there, okay? So Patty uh, can make seven stacks of 25 cents from the $1.75 right there. Okay, nice quick lesson. Take care, you guys.